Party to delight and dazzle, no matter who you support. The story of the game as it unfolds live next on EA TV. Hello everyone. Well, I'd like to be able to say I've never seen rain here at Wembley before, but that is most definitely not the case. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's England against Italy. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles... And he's broken free! Chance maybe, and a goal! Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. One-nil then. Number eight, Sandro Tonali. Well, it clearly was deflected, so it will be their throw-in. And for more on the injury, let's go down to our reporter, Jeff Shreves. Yeah, you can see he's got a problem with his foot. It looks as though he's treading on it a little. Full marks to the keeper. Well, what a reaction from the goalkeeper. Such a good save in the end. So the corner played into the box. And well, nothing comes of it. Matteo Damian. Barella. And he's through here. Oh, a magical piece of goalkeeping. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. Such good reactions. It really is. Going short. Can they convert? And you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. Well, they're going for the short one. That's a useful cross. Could still be dangerous. Applying vigorous pressure. A really top-notch piece of defending. Bellingham. Chance maybe to use the counter-attacking ability to good effect. Jude Bellingham. Kane. Oh, fancy footwork. Still danger here. Cutting it back. What a commitment to defending. Now, can England take advantage of this set piece? Corner kick played in. Well, a bit short with the clearance. Well, threat about it. Sandro Tonali could be dangerous save but still a chance well no damage done well I don't think they've been at it today but maybe just maybe that great save will inspire them now
Jude Bellingham. Harry Kane. Oh, fine stop. Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. He's driven in the corner. Well, the header at least made the goalkeeper think. Sandro Tonali. Barella has it. Well, the attack looks promising. And beating the defender. Well, danger averted thanks to his teammates. Incisive pass. Well, he had just gone beyond the last defender, Stuart. Well, that's a real shame because the through ball is really well weighted, but he just took too long to play it. Moise Keane, can he put it away? And a loss of concentration. A smart stop here. And a short corner, let's see. Opportunity here. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Saka and given away well good run and good ball control and that a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again and over comes the corner and the danger still on and a time for cool heads. And the referee's whistle. We've reached the halfway point here at Wembley Stadium. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first... So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Looked as though there might be a threat, but not so in the end. Good defending. Here's Luke Shaw. Now with Rashford. The fans are shouting, shoot! Excellent block. And Bellingham. Now the defenders having to cover up. And Italy with the ball again. And England with acres of space out wide. Oh, he looks threatening. Spot on with that tackle. Giacomo Raspadori. A danger here as he runs at them. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Thirty minutes left for play. Promising move this from England. Well, they have it again. And teammates around him. Moyes Keane plays it back. Really sound defending.
Rashford. Oh, genuine chance. And a goal to square the game. Into the same stuff. Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed. But he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal. So back underway following the equaliser. Sandro Tonali. Di Marco. Locatelli with it. Oh, breezing past him. Can he finish? And a goal! Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. The tackle completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Disappointing for England to give it away in that manner. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Leading it through. And there it is! Two goals in a matter of minutes! Incredible stuff! Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Really bright looking attack. Sandro Tonali. Real chance. There it is. Victory more or less guaranteed now. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Oh, that's a really good run. Incisive pass. Well, it might still work out for them. 
Brilliantly blocked. And a fine stop. Yet another tremendous save to add to the list. Pulls it back. Well, he couldn't quite keep it on target. Just wide. The referee says that will be all, and it goes into the history books as a defeat for England. Stuart, your thoughts? You're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor, the display was even worse. They never got to grips with the opposition. They were second best in every facet of the game. They need to do a lot of improving before the next time out. But it just seems that this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game, and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.